Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a very common question. I have taken this question from the NCRT book. This question also usually appears in various entrance exams. Prove that the volume of the largest cone that can be inscribed in a sphere of radius capital R is 8 by 27 of the volume of the sphere. So let us try to visualize the situation. So imagine that I have a sphere. I'm going to inscribe a cone inside this sphere. Remember, the, we have a fixed co uh, sphere and we are going to in inscribe a cone. So currently we have a very small cone and I'm going to try and try to vary the size of the cone. Okay. So as I vary the radius and height of the cone, you see that you keep getting different cones and volume of the cone keep increasing. And at particular point, you, at a particular point, you see that volume becomes maximum and beyond which the volume keep reducing. So it is understood that um, there is a particular radius and height of the cone at which the cone attains the maximum volume. So that is understood from the visualization I have shown here. So now let us try to see that particular situation where the volume is maximum and let's try to find the maximum volume. So we have a sphere of a fixed radius capital R and let us try to inscribe the cone and assume that the cone has the maximum volume at this particular position and the height of the cone is small h and you can see that we have a right angle triangle formed. So before solving this question, we need to know what are the variables and what are the constants. So variables are the small r, the radius of the cone, the, the small h value, which is the height of the cone and volume of the cone, which is 1 by 3 pi r square h. And what are the constants? Since we have a fixed sphere given the radius of the sphere and volume of the sphere are fixed constant, fixed numbers, right? Now, before looking at the objective function, the quantity that needs to be maximized or minimized, we have to look at the constraints. The, the constraint can be obtained from the figure. So if you look at the figure, we have a right angle triangle with sides H minus R, small r and capital R. If you apply Pythagoras theorem, we have R squared is equal to 2HR minus H square. Now the objective function, the quantity that needs to be maximized is volume of the cone, which is 1 by 3 pi r square h. But you see that there are two variables in this expression. So we need to get rid of one of the variables. I'm going to replace small r square with the, the expression we got from the condi constraint condition. So currently we have eliminated small r and our objective function just contains one variable which is small h. Now let's apply the principles from calculus. Our objective function is uh, pi by 3 into 2 h square r minus h cube, which is a function in just one variable h. So let's differentiate this expression. dv by dh comes out to be pi by 3 into 4 h r minus 3 h square. And we also need to find the double derivative, which is d square v by dh square, which is pi by 3 into 4r minus 6h. And we know that for maximum or minimum, we need to have dv by dh is equal to 0. Upon solving this condition, we get small h is equal to 4 capital R by 3. And you see that at this point, double derivative is less than 0. Now you go and substitute this in the volume of the cone, we get volume of the cone as 8 by 27 times volume of the uh, sphere. 